Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of those fake pop-ups that appears on people's computers, warning them that their computer has been blocked, and telling them to phone a fake technician. There are many excellent scam baiters on YouTube who make videos of entire calls with call centres. They have virtual machines set up so they can allow the call centres to access their computer and access their dummy bank accounts. I'm not set up that way, so I can't allow that to happen. So the aim of this video is firstly to show you what to do if you do have one of those pop-ups. How can you get rid of it? They're designed to frighten you, but you need to stay calm. Don't panic. And I'll explain to you later in the video what you need to do to get rid of that fake pop-up. I'll also play you a short call that I had with that fake call centre. I spotted an article on Flora's Facebook page about a cute dog. Well, who can resist a story about a cute animal? So I tapped on the link and look what happens. Yes, it takes you to a web page that serves you lots of pop-ups and tries to frighten you into contacting a fake Microsoft support call centre. It tells me it's the Windows Defender Security Centre. It isn't, and if this happens to you, all you need to do is close the tab on your browser. In this case, just close the tab up here. Shutting down your browser won't stop it if your browser is set to reopen the same set of tabs that were open before you closed it. I'll show you what I mean. I've closed that browser. Now I'm going to reopen it. But it's set to reopen the same set of tabs and so those same fake warnings will pop up. The one on top says it's the Windows Defender Security Centre. It isn't and it says threat detected Trojan spyware. Access to this PC has been blocked for security reasons it says. It hasn't and all you need to do is close this tab. I have the option of denying or allowing. Well I can't imagine what difference that's going to make. Let's say deny. Oh look the same one has come back again. Let's try allow. And this says do not restart or use your computer. Your computer is disabled. Please call me. Access is the block security reason for this computer. Whatever that means. Please contact us immediately. A technician will help you solve the problem. And you can say OK or cancel. I'm just going to press escape because it's gone full screen. There we go. And we can phone that number toll free. Oh good. Let's phone it. And again, as I've said, all you need to do is close that tab. Not close the browser, but you need to close that tab. If that's the only tab that you have open on your browser, and if your browser is set to reopen the same set of tabs, then what you need to do, I'll get rid of the Facebook one. What you need to do before you close the browser is open a fresh tab then go back and close the tab that contains this fake pop-up because then next time you open the browser the only tab that will open is the new one that you started. I'm not going to do that right now because obviously we want that number so that we can call it. You've gotten technical support. Please hold while we connect your call with one of our experts. Oh yes, good morning. I've got a pop-up on my computer which says I need to call you. It says okay. my computer says my computer's can I have your name, please? Uh, Annie. Hi, um, can I have your phone number please? Uh, no, you can't. Sorry? I said no you can't. Okay. Um, is it the first time you're calling this or you called before it's 
No, I haven't called you before. It's the first time I've seen this. It says your computer is disabled. I was trying to look at a photograph of a dog. No, I didn't. Yes. I'm afraid I didn't. I wasn't even up five, five hours ago. No, I didn't call you yesterday either. You aren't very helpful, are you? I said you aren't very helpful. My computer's got a thing on saying your computer is disabled, please call me. And you tell me I've called before, which I haven't. And anyway, you can't see my number, so you ain't got any bloody idea whether I've called before or not, have you? You're just lying to me, ain't you? Uh, no problem, Mr. Can you please tell me, can you please read that from you and everything computer? It says, do not restart or use your computer. Your computer is disabled, please call me. Don't say who me is. Access is the block security reason for this computer. Please contact us immediately. A technician will help you solve the problem. And then underneath it says Windows Defender Security Center. Apps, something I can't pronounce. Threat detected. Trojan spyware, whatever that is. Access to this PC has been blocked for security reasons. Contact Windows support and your number. Okay. I told you I was trying to look at a photo of a dog from Facebook. Okay. Well, but it seems like it's a Trojan attack on the computer. Like a Trojan spyware. Like someone is trying to get into your network. Okay. Well, I have no idea what any of that means. No, like someone is trying to get into your network. The Trojan spyware, which you got, are commonly used by intruders to get into your network. And maybe that is what is happening. So, I have to check what exactly the problem is. And in order to do that, I have to share your computer screen with me. Will well, that be okay with you? Well, you can't because it says it's disabled. No, I will tell you how to do that. It says your computer is disabled. I can't do anything. No, I will tell you how to do that. How you can share your computer screen with me. So, you do one thing look on the keyboard. On the bottom left, do you see the Windows key which has four boxes on it? Yeah, I can, yes. Yeah, press and hold that key. Press it and hold it. And at the same time, press R for Romeo. Oh, nothing's happening. All I've got is this thing on the screen that says deny or allow. Don't worry about that. Look on the keyboard. On the bottom of the you see a Windows key which has four buttons. Yeah, I can see it, but nothing happens when I press it. No, you need to press it and hold it, and at the same time press R for Romeo. Yeah, nothing's happening. I've got this thing on the screen. I need to get rid of that, don't I? It's got a cross on it. What happens if I, I've got? A, it's got a cross on it. What happens if I press on the cross? It won't make any difference. No, you're right. Nothing's happened. Why does nothing happen when I press on the cross? Why have Microsoft made a box with a cross on that I can't click on? Well, because of the Trojan spyware which you got, it won't allow the cross to work. Right. So I'm stuffed out because I can't do anything. So. Can, can you please try to press and hold the Windows key and I have to hold it one more time? Do I need to... Do I need to what do you mean, which computer am I using? It's mine. Which computer? It's mine. My own personal computer. So I didn't ask you whose computer you're using. I'm asking you which computer. Is it like the making model? The make and model, it's an Acer. Like, and which Windows you're using? Oh, I don't know, whatever it came with. Windows is Windows, isn't it? No, there are models like Windows 7, 8. Um, well, I haven't got any, any idea. How old I've, is this computer? I've had it for two years. Okay. Well, Mr. Uh, uh, I hope you're doing it right. Like, you need to press and hold the Windows key, and at the same time, press R for Romeo. Hang on, let me try again then. Press and hold the Windows key. Right, nothing's happening. At the same time, 
at the same time. Oh, all right, hang on. Oh, okay, right, I've got a box now that says run. www.microtechassist.com So that pop-up was lying to me, wasn't it? And been, it, my computer hadn't been frozen at all, has it? Well, it is disabled. Well, it's not disabled because I've just gone to the micro whatever it is assist.com website, and I, and now I've got a new tab as well, so I can well, type it. Well, it's definitely not disabled because I've just gone on a new tab now. And I can type in anything I want. Yeah, but I haven't disabled it, has it? Well, I don't think. See how it's disabled if I can use the internet. Okay, which app do you see? Do you say welcome, join with a call? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, let me just give you the call. It's 7354. Well, yeah, I don't see why I should let you on my computer. I just need to know how to get rid of that thing, don't I? You just tell me what I need to do. I don't have a virtual machine set up, so I'm not prepared to give him the code. He probably wouldn't do any harm, because he probably wants to access my bank account. But we're not going to find out. But I hope you can see that firstly, if we go back to that tab, saying my computer is disabled is clearly not true because I can open that tab, I can open a new tab, and I can use the internet. And if I close this tab, it will just disappear. And it won't come back. Now, if that happens to you, and you're in any doubt about whether or not your computer may be infected with malware, I suggest that you download and scan your computer with the free version of Malware Bytes. There's lots of reliable anti-malware software, and I'm not being paid by Malware Bytes to recommend it. It's just the one that I normally use. I actually have it on my laptop already, but I'll show you where to find it. You just type in Malware Bytes, that's M-A-L-W-A-R-E-B-Y-T-E-S dot org. Org, and you tap on free download for personal use. Where you see the open or save or run box will depend on which browser you're using. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to install it. And once it's finished installing, I really will scan the computer with malware bytes. A few months ago, I had a similar issue with pop-ups that simply popped up every time I opened the browser I was using. At that time, it was Chrome. But don't panic if that happens to you. Your computer hasn't been infected with malware. Mine hadn't. It was an issue with a site that had one of those allow or block boxes where you agree to allow notifications. The notifications were simply popping up every time I reopened the browser. I can't remember why I tapped on allow. It isn't something that I would normally do. I might have had flu at the time. So I had to get into Chrome, find those notifications and disable them. I don't exactly recall how I did that, but it's something that you can Google. So don't panic if something like this happens to you. And please don't phone the number on any pop-up ever. If you think you do have an issue with your computer, contact your local support technician. Your local computer shop will probably be able to put you in touch with someone that will be able to help you. Someone like me, but I'm not telling you who I am in real life. But if you were one of my real life clients, then you could bring your computer to me or I'd come to your house and we'd sort it out over a cup of tea in a few minutes. And never allow anyone to access your computer remotely unless you know who they are. I do that for my clients, but they know who I am. I don't put pop-ups on their computer, asking them to phone random numbers. 
So now I'm going to scan the computer. I don't expect to find anything. It's something that I do fairly regularly anyway, just to be sure that nothing nasty has got onto my computer. And yes, if you're wondering which antivirus software I use on a regular basis, I use the Windows Security Center, the one that's built into Windows. I'll pause the video now. And here we are. The scan's finished and it didn't find anything, which is exactly what I expected would happen. So those pop-ups are all fake, just designed to frighten you into phoning that number so that you can give access to their fake technician so that he or she can then access your bank account. Never, ever log into your bank account when somebody is accessing your computer remotely. Although I say I access my client's computers remotely, not once, ever, have I had any reason to ask a client to access their own bank account while I'm on their computer watching what they're doing. I hope you found this video useful. It isn't the usual kind of video that I make. And it isn't the usual way that people who phone the scam call centres make their videos because they want to show you how the scam actually progresses. I'm not set out for that. As I say, I don't have a virtual machine installed on here so I can't show you what they actually do. I can only make the warning and explain to you the reasons why you shouldn't allow them onto your computer in the first place. I hope you found this video useful and I apologise for the poor sound quality from the caller. If you did find it useful, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.